This is better than my imagination This is more than a dream come true Without the slightest bit of hesitation I knew what I was meant to do Mom, is that important? Mm-hmm, very. Then wouldn't it help if there was some paper in there? Oh. Oh, Andrew, would you mind running out getting me some? I'm up to my ears here. Could it wait till you're up to your eyeballs? I'm pretty busy. <laughs> How many boxes? Okay, that should just about do it. If we come up with anything, we'll get right back to you. If? What do you mean, if? When is what I want to hear. When? Dr. J, what's going on? I was lonely, and I wanted some company. Oh, well, you could have called me. I was robbed. Somebody broke into my lab. I'm finished, ruined, washed up. Hey, Doc, take it easy. You said all they took was a piggy bank and a, uh, a roller skate key in. It's not a roller skate key. How many times do I have to tell you? It is a surface tension abrogator of a molecular flux expander. It only looks like a roller skate key. Got it. Okay, what was the thing that looks like a piggy bank? A piggy bank. Oh. Well, we'll do what we can, but uh, it's doubtful if we'll find it. Thanks so very much. Here it is. Wow. How does it work? Well, basically, it realigns a molecular structure of anything that contains hydrogen and oxygen and recombines them to create water. You can make water? Yes. From the hydrogen and the sulfites and this bacon and the oxygen in the air, I can produce pure water. At least I could, until they stole my abrogator, which is essential in initiating the molecular realignment. Can't you make a new one? Are you kidding? It takes a week just to modify the molecular structure, and I have potential backers coming in three days. What did it look like? Ah. Goes in here. Dr. J, who knew you were working on this? No one. Yet someone breaks in and steals the essential part. Why? It was gold-plated. I smell espionage. This is a job for Ultraman. It is out of the question. But Dr. J, here we have a city gripped in fear smothering under the oppression of a crime wave, the likes of which has never been seen before. And what is the greatest crime fighter the world has ever known doing? Getting out of my lab so I can get back to work.
Oh, just great till my boss finds out. That radio comes out of my salary. Have no fear. I'm on a job. Who are you? I'm old. I'm Mandra Clements. Closer look. Oh man, I need a haircut. I don't know how I'm gonna tell Rock about his bike. Rock? Who's Rock? Are you kidding? Everybody knows Rock. Yeah, what grade is he in? <laughs> That's good. What grade's he in? Yeah. He's the leader of our gang. He's been away the past couple days on a date. On a date for a couple of days? Man, how much pizza can that guy eat? Hey, you saved my life. I owe you. Ah, forget it. No way, man. My life is yours until I can find some great way to repay you. It's the code. Code? What code? The code of the Apache Devils. Payback time. You do something for me, I do something for you. Well, hey, how about the bike? I mean, Rock won't want it. It's got that big scratch. I'm making you a member of the gang. Oh, no, really. You don't want to do that. Yeah, I do, man. No, really. With soccer on Wednesdays and stamp club on Thursdays, I just don't have any quality me time left. Thanks! Who are you, anyway? Someone you want to get to know. Okay, pan's ready. Vegetables are ready. Eggs are ready. Whoops. Andrew, after dinner, I want you to do the dishes. All the dishes, including the pans. What is this? Punish Andrew Clemens Day? I told Dr. J I'd come over after supper. Andrew, honey, I think you're spending too much time with Dr. Jeffcoat. It's not healthy. Why, is he sick? <laughs> I just think you should spend more time with boys your own age, okay? You too, Mom. Hey, Andy. Tony, what are you doing here? I'd like you to meet Jimmy and Nick. Uh, Mom, this is Tony, Jimmy, and Nick. This is my mom and my sister, Karen. Hi. Hi. Great place. What has set you back? Uh, listen, Mom. I'll get something to eat out with you guys. Uh, Andrew. I'll come back some night around 10.30. Oh, well, Andrew's usually in bed by 10.30. I know. Haven't we been here before? Yeah, that's the house we ripped off yesterday. Now we're right back here again. 
<laughs> Always funny, isn't it? Get any good stuff? That's privileged info. Until you're in the gang. But Tony said I was in the gang. First, you gotta go through initiation. Initiation? You mean like wearing my underwear outside my pants? <laughs> no, you gotta rip somebody out. Which is what we're gonna do right now. Rip off the very first guy you see. Well, even if he's Arnold Schwarzenegger? You're not chicken, are you? Hey, I'm just trying to cut down on my mugging. Hey, it's okay. You know, once you start, it kind of grows on you. Give me your wallet. Andrew. Oh, a tough guy, huh? Dr. J, please, those are the guys who broke into your lab the other night. Well, then. Why am I whispering? I'm warning you, I skipped lunch today and I'm feeling real cranky. Dr. J, please, I'm operating undercover. If I can just get into the gang, I can get your abrogator back. So hand it over. Come on, old man, I don't have all night. Man. No money in here. How can you go in a store with no money? Andrew, when I went to the store, I had $30. I spent $30. Now, how much money do I have left? Come on, there's gotta be something in here. That's my coffee club card. Whenever I buy coffee, they, they punch that for me. When I get it all punched, I get a free pound. Well, it'll have to do. Now get lost before I change my mind. And don't try and follow me. We're not talking that the caffeinated junk either. A couple belts of this stuff will be up till 11.30. He meant midnight. Give him a break, he's new. Dr. Jeff called? Dr. Jeff Cold? Mrs. Clements. What a surprise. Hi. Uh, gee, I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Oh, no, no, no. no I was, uh, I was just working on my echo hydrolyzer. See? Oh, it's really very exciting. Yeah, I'm sure. You see, there is no real difference between a molecule and a... B Listen to me babbling on. I, I should, uh... Can I get you anything? Uh, d d something to drink? Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> Thank you. I was just on my way to show a house, uh, actually. Don't stand there. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, I thought I might have a word with you. Sure, uh, but, but you can't stand there either. I'm bombarding that wall with photons. Oh! Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid I... I... I don't entertain down here very much. Actually, I, I don't entertain up there very much either. <laughs> I guess I, I just don't entertain very much at all. <laughs> Look, um, I just wondered if you'd noticed anything different about Andrew. Different? Uh, how, how do you mean? Well, he's finally hanging around with kids his own age, but this group looks kind of tough to me, and I just... Oh... Andrew is a very level-headed young man. I wouldn't worry about him getting into trouble. Uh-uh. Well, I hope not. I hate to ask you this, but he does look up to you, and I just wondered if... Sure. I'd be happy to have a word with him. Man to man, as it were. <laughs> well, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. I do that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? Come on. Come on, say it to my face. Oh, a tough guy. You really think that crowbar's gonna help you? 
try me. You are next. Oh, this is good. You really like it? Andrew, will you listen to me? Your mother is very worried about you, and frankly, so am I. Infiltrating this gang can only lead to trouble. It's dangerous. Dangerous? What can happen to me? I'm invulnerable. It's a matter for the police. No. Listen, they can't get your abrogator. I can get it. You will be a hit with your backers. The world will recognize your genius. What a cause for Ultraman. Oh, that's it. That is it. I am telling your mother I should have done it in the first place. No. No, you can't. The Incredible Hulk's mom found out, and they killed her. Where's a Green Lantern's mom? Well, either way, she bought it. Well, we certainly don't want your mother in danger. Oh, and Dr. J, some of these kids aren't that bad. They just need someone to set a good example. The powers you gave me should be used for something more than getting into rock concerts free or peeping into girls' windows. But... Just call your backers. Your money's in the bag. You ever been in a rumble? Does a switchblade cut? Does a gun shoot? Does cotton shrink? I don't know. Hey, does cotton shrink? Two weeks ago, I put Duke McIntosh in the hospital for a month. All right. <laughs> I think rocks with a scratch on his bike. I didn't mean it, Rock. It was an accident. I can understand that. Accidents do happen. Uh, actually, Mr. Rock, it was my fault. Who is this kid? Andrew. <laughs> the newest member of the gang. I decide who's in the gang. He saved my life, Rock. It's a code. Let's go. Where are we going? Let's do some damage. Do any of you know what a surface tension abrogator makes? About 350 an hour. <laughs> are we going to see this invention of yours? Of course. the car shouldn't one of the guys we've seen you already do it i'm not asking you i'm telling you do it no something's gonna get smashed either the car or you leave him alone i'll, I'll do it no i want him to do it hey leave him alone all right that's it. You and me right here, right now. Let's go. Nail him, Rock. Rearrange his face. Okay, don't worry. You put Duke McIntosh in the hospital for a month, remember? Yeah, but that was because I gave him the mumps. <laughs> Looks like you're our new leader. What? Trial by combat. It's part of the code. You're the boss. Well, then I guess this is mine. So what do we do now? 
I don't know. Rock always had cool ideas. Like what? Trashing some guy's car? Got any better ideas? Yes, I do. The future's ours, guys. Let's make the best of our opportunities. I mean, we can't change the world, but we could do some really awesome stuff. I mean, like, clean the churchyard after a charity sale. Or, or paint the set for school plays. I mean, I mean, we could... Rock, get up! You know what? I think you had him right up to the part about the school play. You know, you're a lot tougher than you look. Well, sometimes in life when you're not that tough and you have to act tough, it's not that tough to be tough. Oh, I gotta go. Well, you wanna get a pizza or something? can't. Okay, forget it. But how about tomorrow night? I don't know. I had plans to knock off a bank. Oh. See you at eight? See you. So the, the electron says to the neutron, I told you we should have gone to the quantum mechanic. <laughs> Doctor, would you please show us a demonstration of your invention? We have a plane to catch. Great. I'll take you to the airport. We would like to see it now. I have to be honest with you. In order to make this work, you need a certain something, and I can't. Wait to show you. 